let me show you how you can build an extremely fast WooCommerce store using DigitalOcean on Cloudways. So let me show you how right now. What's up, SaaS Masters? I'm going to show you how to launch your WooCommerce store using Cloudways. Now on this one, we're going to use a server from DigitalOcean. The benefit about this is that we can select the amount of power that we're going to need for our WooCommerce store. So you can make it as powerful as you need. OK, so this is Cloudways. If you want to check it out, link we provided in the description and let's jump over to my dashboard. In this video, I'm going to show you how to launch a server, how to add a WordPress site and how to connect your domain using a DNS to Cloudways. OK, so all that in this video. So let's get started by first creating our server. So we're going to jump into view all servers and we're going to add a new server. So let's go ahead and add it. And we're going to select the application that we want to install on this server. So in this case, as I mentioned, it's a WooCommerce store. So we're going to select WooCommerce. Let's go ahead and name this. I'll say SaaS store. OK, and the server name, I'll just say and I'm going to keep it here in this project. OK, so now I have the option for five servers. In this case, I'm going to select DigitalOcean because that's what I'm going to show you. Now, when I am talking about the, the amount of power that you can launch your WooCommerce store with, it's here. You can select the server size. Now, depending on the server size that you select, it's the amount you're going to pay per month. OK, so check this out. Four gigabytes right now in the premium server is $54 a month. If I say, you know what, I don't need four gigabytes, I'll go ahead and use one. OK, it's going to be $14 a month. So you decide how much you want to pay a month and actually how much you're going to need to power up your WooCommerce store. OK, so in this case, I'm going to go with eight gigabytes in this section right here, and it's going to be $99 a month for me. Then I have to select the location. Now, when you select the location, select the location that's nearest to wherever who's going to visit your site the most. So where your clients are from. So if it's going to be from United States, well, select a, a place from United States. If it's going to be in Europe, well, select something like Frankfurt, London, etc. In this case, I'll select London for this. Let's just hypothetically say that my WooCommerce store is focusing on Europe. OK, so let's go ahead and launch now. And here we go. It's just started to launch and it's going to take approximately seven minutes to be ready. OK, so let's give it a few minutes and we'll come back. There we go. Our server is now ready. Here we go. SaaS store server. We have a WooCommerce store ready, but be aware that the first launch for this is that it launches a WooCommerce store with a random domain. It's not connected to our main domain yet. OK, to do that. Well, I'm going to show you. But first of all, let me show you the main aspects of this server. So first of all, you got your public IP, which is what we're going to need to connect our domain to this. And we have a username and password. This is for the actual server. Remember, 8 gigabytes, 160 gigabytes of this space are IP and it's based on London. OK, we can monitor, we can manage, we can set our setting package, security, vertical scaling, backup and SMTP all from here. OK, now for the WooCommerce store, we're going to go into our Cloudways Flexible. We're going to go into applications and we're going to check this out. This is our SaaS store. This is where we're going to open it and this is where we're going to manage our WooCommerce store from the actual back end in the server. OK. So as I mentioned before, right now it's a random domain. So let's go ahead and jump over to this domain. Here it is. We have a WooCommerce store. Let's go ahead and close this. But what we, what we want to do is actually connect our domain to actually use this. Now you can start editing your site with all this and then connect your domain. But in this case, we're going to skip all that and we're going to connect the domain. OK, so for that, we're going to jump into domain management. Here it is. And we're going to add a domain. Now, in this case, I use Cloudflare and my domain is connected here in Cloudflare. And what I'm going to do is point my domain so it works on Cloudways. OK, so we're going to open up the domain, go to DNS and in DNS. We're going to add a new record and the record. We're going to add the subdomain in this case. I'm not going I'm not going to connect the main domain for this test in purpose. OK, so I'm going to say. Cloudways, that's going to be the domain cloudways.anylufer.com and the IP address is from the server. OK, so let me go jump over back to my panel. Let me grab that IP because I didn't grab it. OK, here's the IP. Let me go ahead and grab the IP again and let me go ahead and add the server. And like I said, this is going to be a subdomain, so it's going to be cloudways dot dot com. Let's go ahead and add the domain. OK, here we go. It's not going to work yet until we add it over here. So again, we're going to add the IP address. Remember, it's the subdomain cloudways. Let's go ahead and save this. And sometimes it takes a few minutes uh, or up to hours when you make a lot of changes for this to be propagated and work correctly. In this case, it should work pretty fast. So let's go ahead and set this as the primary domain. There we go. It's now set as the primary domain. Let's go ahead and visit this domain. 
Let's go to Cloudways and Eloofer. And here we go. We have a WooCommerce store site. Now let's go jump over to the back end. Okay, so let me go ahead and WP admin. And we're going to need the login credentials. We're going to grab that in Cloudways. So in Cloudways, we're going to go to access details, the username. Let's go ahead and copy this. And let's go ahead and copy the password. You can go ahead and change it from there. And here we go. We are now logged in into the back end of our WooCommerce store. Now, remember, this is a WooCommerce store. So we have the WooCommerce plugin already installed here. And we're ready to obviously set up our WooCommerce details, our products, and fine tuning our site to start selling. That's how fast it is to launch the WooCommerce store here on Cloudways. Just select the application, in this case, WooCommerce, your server, location, connect your domain, and you're good to go. Just like you saw in this video, just follow the steps and you'll be able to do it with no hassle at all. Now, in this case, if you want to work on the back end for WooCommerce, jump into the WooCommerce back end. If you want to work on the application settings, go into the application settings right here, my applications. And if you need to work on the server side settings, go into server. But there you go. That's how you're going to launch your super fast WooCommerce store here on Cloudways using DigitalOcean. And there you go. That's a wrap for Cloudways.